Everybody, welcome back to another episode of Falcon Plays uh, RimWorld. And looking at around, looking about right now, <laughs> oh boy, do we have a lot to do. Um, this is a new set of recordings. Today's gonna be what's today's date? Smartphone, tell the human what day it is. Tell me the day it is, it's the 28th. Alrighty, good. Thank you for helping me out as a Neanderthal that I am that I can't figure out uh, modern day electronics here. Um, yeah, so the 28th set of recordings today. Um, obviously, I'm picking up after this disaster that we took place last episode. So uh, I do need to figure out what the hell we were doing here. Uh, just looking about, I can tell you that it was a lot of bad stuff, though, that's for sure. Was this the raid where they landed inside, or was this the raid where I tried to do a lot of mano to mano combat? I believe it was mano to mano combat. Mano to mano combat, it sounds like, you know, a really weird take on Mortal Kombat, you know, it's just like mano to mano, a lot of people were kissing when they had, like, the mono disease, and it's called a kissing disease for a reason, I never had it. It's mostly because people never really bothered to kiss me growing up, but that's alright, man, you know, jokes on them. I make videos for YouTube now, very unsuccessfully. <laughs> Either way, um, all jokes aside, let's actually get into the game. Actually, no, no, we, we gotta actually break this down really soon. Crazy Sam's having a mental break, okay. Crazy Sam, uh, you're probably having a mental break because you're uh, out there in the dark right now. I, I need you to get away from there, Crazy. Uh, where are you heading right now? You are eating from the nutrient Princess. Good. Go, go, go and eat from there. That's perfect. That's what you should do. Starvation. Well, we have Silver and Dak Jack starving. I think both of these are uh, Silver's taking Dak Jack to bed. So, um, well, that's going to be kind of troublesome. Hopefully, somebody feeds Dak Jack before he dies and Silver gets some food as well. And then buildings need power. That would be all these guys here because I do believe uh, one of the power conduits to it got wrecked. So uh, we need to rebuild this, by the way. So really quickly, let's go ahead here and where am I looking for? You know, I sort of got it. Take a few days off of uh, RimWorld and I come back and I'm just kind of like, well, where's everything good? It's like, it's like, really? It's like, you've been playing this for like almost uh, fucking like, what is it, like six months now, maybe? Seven months, Falcon? You would imagine you would know where most things go. And that would be the case if, uh, you know, they weren't switching it up all the time on me. Not that they're really switching it up. It's mostly me with uh, adding, you know, adding extra mods that kind of uh, throws me off for a loop at times here. These rooms are going to have to need a power soon, so you might as well just, while we're at it, add the power conduits needed to this area. How is our power conduit situation now, though? That's the real question here. Oh, we have a lot of spool. Okay, so last episode, I remember, or the last few episodes, we needed spool, and that's been done with. Okay, so power conduits have been taken care of. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to be fixed and built, as you can see. A lot of bodies to be hauled off, too. So, alrighty. Well, um... Nobody died, right? Yeah, this was, I think, this was the, the, uh, mano to mano episode, so nobody died, we just had a few knockouts, unfortunately. So we're still rebuilding down over here, we need to actually rebuild a few more security, uh, blast charges over here. Now, how crazy am I about this? Not too crazy, honestly. Um, especially when, what went down last episode with the, uh, raiders being, like, really kamikaze happy and basically, um, telling us to fuck ourselves and, uh, setting these charges off with their own volition. So, um, metal, you know, we're kind of bleeding a bit of metal, but we haven't collected this metal over here, too, so I think that's probably part of the reason as well. So let's add a blast charge here, uh, let's say another one roughly here. And I guess we'll do this one in between a skip or two, right? So that would go right about there. We have one being built over here, so what if I get one more, just for the crazy raids? And, uh, add one here, and then we'll add the proverbial one roughly right about there. Okay. Uh, this isn't the best defense for down here. Uh, I, I experiment with these turrets, and you know, it's kind of working, eh. The thing is, they can't make this area as secure as this area, because obviously I can't build down here, so I'm very limited. Unless, you know, I start removing my base up, and that would be such a big hassle. So we have to continue going about this dangerous way of uh, living. This dangerous lifestyle, but hopefully it does work out for us. So, I think everything's good to go. The last thing I need to do is also introduce the new people that we uh, knocked out last episode at every name. So we have long hair. Long hair's been waiting for a while. Long hair, welcome aboard, my friend. We have a uh, Timmy Lev, or is it T M Lev? Timmy Lev, T Timna Lev, whatever, man. Welcome aboard. We have Tubes, old Tuber McDougal, back in the fold. So Tubes, welcome aboard. Marco Pony's still being a jerk about being recruited, though. So can't really help Marco Pony's uh, cause over here. And we also have Made Beast. So um, everybody's good to go. Uh, so let's get the game going on. What is this? Uh, Cyborg is gone. Has a mental break. It's going insane. Where's Cyborg at? Oh wait, Silver has Cyborg. So I don't know who has Dak Jack. But either way, once we know we once we put a uh, Cyborg in the prison, he's gonna go batshit insane. They wanna fight people. But that's okay. If he wants to fight people, we'll let him fight people. You know, we're not gonna. Uh, I guess. Uh, I guess forbade him from like you know doing whatever he wants to do here. Uh, what do we have here? Uh, a teacher from Townsman Village is passing by. He is named Robert Upgrade Hooper. Yeah. 
You know what? Fuck you, alright? You guys do nothing. One of the things that I've been exp uh, I've been kind of hearing from you guys that I should do, and I think it's probably a good idea at this point, is um, pissing off the rest of the colonies. Just because, here's my, uh, here's my reasoning behind that. Alright, so Silver, put him inside, and then I after you put him inside, I need you to uh, kind of just book it right now. Or just put him in bed, I guess, first, right? Alright, so, so actually, Cyborg uh, went batshit insane, but he's good now. We put him in jail, and he's alright, so good. Let's set him up for recruitment again, though. Cyborg, I need you back in the fold of things here. Good. Thank you. So, Silver, you're recruited. You are free to go now. Um, let's see. We had Dak Jack going to bed. I believe Data Error was taking him to bed, wherever the hell um, these people went. Guys, where'd you go? I know I'm not tripping balls here. I know what I saw. S oh, Silver is the one that's sorry, but he's good to go. And then Dak Jack. Where the fuck is Dak Jack? Ty Tyree Harris is getting fed. Crazy Sands will get some food, so that's alright. Uh, I'm pretty sure Data Error had a uh, Dak Jack. I can't find him now, though. Where did these guys go? Did they just fucking disappear off the map or what? I'm not sure what the hell happened here, but okay. Let's just ignore it here for a second. That's probably not the uh, best thing. That's not what you people want to hear. Let's just ignore it. Let's just hope it goes away, but uh... Alright, so Dak Jack's no longer starving, so he must have gotten some food. So now at this point, it's just Silver getting some food. Crazy Sam's mental breaks. I, I know, Crazy Sam. I know, man. We'll, we'll get there soon. These people need to be hauled off to um, get burned as well. I haven't set these people off for hauling. That's not a good thing. Well, I have some of them, not just all of them, though. We have a lot of mini guns kind of spread about, too, so we gotta really take care of that soon. So how about you guys? Let's set you up for um, hauling along with you guys. And you guys is... Nope, not the turret. Can't haul the turret. Alrighty, that. And then this fat motherfucker over here and his other fat friend lying underneath him. Yeah, how do you feel about that, fatties? Alrighty, so those guys are taken care of, and now we also need to... Well, Breadbow, I need you to move out of the way so I can do it. Breadbow, you're, you're being a pain right now. Uh, come on. Come on, Rose. Get out of here, Rose. And then Blue Chef, you could go as well. Okay, so I think that takes care of just about... It. Well, no, not really. God damn it, where are these guys multiplying from the dead or something? They're like zombies or some shit. Alrighty, there you go. Run off. Alright, so everybody haul off whenever you need to haul off and then rebuild wherever you need to rebuild. Power conduits are off over here, which is not a good thing in case we get another raid suit enough. Um, I'm expecting, hopefully, a, a fucking passive episode just so we can rebuild because, god damn it, let me tell you, we need to rebuild quite a bit right now. What is it now? Mental break imminent Crazy Sam. Crazy Sam, why? Crazy, don't do this. Crazy, you want to stop whatever you're doing and go get some rest. What are you doing? Hauling wire spool? Okay, I'm going to recruit you and then let you go because, uh, yeah, go back and eat. Go eat again. Eat all you need to eat, man. Texmed is now going batshit insane. Texmed, what are you doing? Texmed's uh, sleeping. Yeah, go sleep. That'll help you out. Crazy Sam, don't do it. Crazy, don't do it. I'm keeping my eye on you. Get some food, Crazy. As long as you get some food, it'll be okay. By the way, speaking of food, we need to put food in these hoppers. We've been kind of slacking off on that. Look at all this food just kind of hanging out over here. This is the reason why... Oh, Crazy Sam gave up. I, I know that blue uh, tint anywhere. Okay. Um, Miklo, you're going to be in charge of uh, recruiting Crazy Sam or capturing him. Be very crazy. Uh, <laughs> be very crazy, he says. Be very careful because um, he is crazy, so he's going to probably go batshit and... Yeah, there he goes. Crazy Sam's uh, mental break. He's going on a rampage now, which is not good. So, um... Here's what we're going to do. We're going to set him down momentarily. Alright, so there he goes. Crazy Sam is now pissed off, and, you know, rightfully so. He's had a lot of complaints recently, and now I guess he's just had enough. But Crazy Sam, you have to understand, too, that we've had a few rough episodes right now, man. So, Miklo, you are going to help me out, along with Gunsmoke. You go after Crazy Sam, too. Just don't hurt him too much, guys. He's the last remaining person from the old colony, or from the startup. So, if anything, just kind of, uh... Daggett Spy, oh no, not Daggett Spy, I thought Daggett Spy was dead, I was like, wait a minute, I, I didn't know we lost anybody. Daggett Spy, my friend, you can continue eating, my bad, sorry for interrupting your meal there. And there is the sniper rifle turret of Crazy Sam, so guys, don't kill him, just kind of like punch him in the kidneys or something, give him a urinary tract infection. I don't think that's possible for a guy, but either way, just don't hurt him too bad, alright, there you go, perfect. So Miklo, you run off, Gunsmoke, you uh, capture Crazy Sam, alright, everything's good, I, I hope. For the most part. Now, it's just a matter of rebuilding. We need to re really refill these uh, hoppers, too, by the way. Where the fuck are my cooks at? Overview. Cooking. Well, they have one person cooking? That's not a really good thing. We have two people. Let's add another cook in here just to uh, get that hopper filled up here. Man, none of you guys actually excel at cooking, though. What the hell? So, Tossy Killer, my friend, you are going to be a, a cook as well. 
Zoom Clan, yeah, I'll keep Zoom Clan going on this thing over here. So Tossy Killer, let me, um, oh, well, he's my crafter, though. Um, that's gonna have to take a little bit of a break for now, then. Because, uh, we already have three crafters, so yeah, let's just uh, kill that off of you. And then we'll just put you as a hauler one and then cleaning two. How about that? Alrighty, that'll kind of even it out to a degree, I'd imagine. See, people are just grabbing food, but they're not, you know, bothering to refill. You know what this is? It's kind of like when you go to the fridge, right? And you're the last one to get the milk. And you can, like, pour yourself some milk, right? And then you run out of it. And then you just kind of put it in with just, like, a little bit of few drops left. And then whoever comes in next is kind of like, oh, I'm going to have some cool cereal in the morning. Some Captain Crunch. I'm a big fan of Captain Crunch, by the way. And then you can't have Captain Crunch because nobody told you, hey, we're out of milk. And then you go in there and you're like, I can't have Captain Crunch with this amount of milk. This doesn't even fill up, like, one quarter of a cup. It's a, it's a pain in the ass, man. Believe me, I know. Silver's still starving. Silver, you shouldn't be starving. Go get some food, man. Oh, actually, you can get some food because uh, uh, our cooks aren't cooking and our hoppers haven't been refilled. That's a really big problem, by the way. Um, yeah, there we go. So thank you, Tassi. He's trying to do at least put some raw meat in there. That's at least going to help us out to a degree. Alrighty, what else do we need to do? Fuck, <laughs> we need to do a lot right now. God damn it, raids. Please don't happen right now. We have so much to do right now. I really hate it when I leave myself these things to do another day. Like, you know, I should have really taken care of this last recording session, but I was like, nah, apparently uh, I had no regard for future Falcon as past Falcon because he's just a fucking dick, apparently. Sounds like my day-to-day -day life into reality, right? Everything I do, I feel that, like, you know, I look back at past Falcon for all of my shortcomings in life, and I'm just kind of like, you know what? This would have been so good if, you know, past Falcon had just gone about this a different way. Not just with video games, man. Not just with uh, RimWorld, but just everything in my life in reality. I could be a doctor right now if, you know, past Falcon just applied himself. I could be a lawyer. You know, people need lawyers and doctors all the time. It's a good combination to have. Yeah, upgrade. You get the fuck out of here. You're not an upgrade to us at all. Alrighty. So we're still cleaning up. Uh, it's kind of been loading up a bit now, but we still need to do a lot more loading. So let's actually put this in real time now. I think for the most part, um, people are starving, but that should start clearing up soon enough. Uh, standing headlamp, those need to be... Uh, Regarded really soon. Why aren't those powered up in reality though? I thought I oh I thought I set up the power conduits that we needed for that uh, Let's take a look at our power. Con oh, no, 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 I haven't cuz I'm a big dummy. I'm a big ignoramus uh, uh Oh Oh No, John Laseo died When when did he die? I didn't see him die What is he dead from he's been dead for quite a while what the fuck? <laughs> okay Past Falcon's fault. This isn't my fault. Well, we're trying to build the power conduits. Unfortunately, John LaSalle's dead body's there. Uh, I'm sorry, John LaSalle. I didn't even see you die, to be quite honest with you. It sounds really, uh... It sounds really, like, careless. Like, I'm just kind of like, yeah, I just wasn't paying attention, but... It's... I don't know how that happened. I thought we were all good. Alrighty. Um, so we have a trade ship, so that's okay. Meaning we need to get Jack Wester involved here. I'm not sure what the hell Jack's doing. And where the fuck is Jack Wester in reality? Jack, did you die some episode that I don't know? What is this, like, fucking the Twilight Zone? I don't remember anything that's happened. This Data error. Data Harrison. Jack Wester, where have you gone? Are you, like, oh, there you are. You're all the way in the bottom now. I thought you were usually in the top. <laughs> There's no sexual connotation involved with that, believe me. Um, so you go there. You go over there and see if you could buy some good stuff for us, hopefully. And John LaSalle, well, we can't deal with John LaSalle yet because obviously we're going to take him to the burning room and I don't want to have that happen. So, um, these people don't deal with any people or weapons. That's quite unfortunate. Winham Interstellar, I have all the money. Well, actually, I don't have all the money in the world anymore. But I have money that I want to, you know, give to get more stuff. And you're kind of, uh, making it a pain in the ass for me to do that. So, what do I want to do? I, I'm starting to need a little bit more silver now. Just for future, I'm, 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 li I'm really in the market for a few more slaves, as uh, careless and heartless as that sounds. But I would love to kind of build my colony through slavery if I can. That sounds even worse, never mind. Um, so let me just buy this little amount of uh, metal that they have, just because, you know, might as well. Uh, let's see here. So, 633, uh, it's gonna be a lot of more metal and down the drain, but that's okay. Um, again, we can make a lot of money selling weapons, I think. If we still have weapons left. Um, we, no, we should, though. Uh, and again, we've also been smelting down, um, weapons for, uh, metal, so that's not too big of a problem right now. So, um, John LaSalle is going to hang out there dead still for a second more. Oh, and the power's back on over here, so that's good. So, what we need to do is, uh, grave over here, uh, needs to be for John LaSalle, but 
for now, let's kind of uh, make this uh, nobody put in there because uh, these bodies need to be moved out first before I start dragging John somewhere else to rest for eternity, I should say. Alrighty, so, you know, things are gonna happen slowly, but surely, slowly but surely, that's the name of the game right now. Don't call me Shirley. Um, so, metal needs to be moved here soon enough. Uh, okay, people are still doing their thing over here. Alright, so it's starting to look a little bit better, right, at the very least. Oh, fire is everywhere over there, too. That's not really too good. Move those bodies out of the way. Excellent. Speaking of moving bodies out of the way, I need to also set up doors, right? Because we did lose doors. Uh, wooden door. Oh, that's already exists. That already exists. Alright, so they already exist. We just have to move the bodies out of the way to actually uh, have them closed. So, we'll keep that in mind. There's a lot of guns over here, so I'm not too worried. Oh, you know what? Uh, blast charges out here uh, obviously have to happen as well. Otherwise, you know, we're in a tough spot. Let me pause the game here really quickly and put you there. Put you there, and then another one right about there. Okay. Good, good, good. Alright, so things are happening. We The wheels are in motion. Uh, we... we Hit a rough spot, but I think we, we should be able to persevere. Molotov cocktails could also be hauled off. I don't care about those. I just need to keep an eye on the miniguns and the sniper rifle turret that we did lose. What is this? Minigun? Yeah, we need that in check. And let's see, who is this? Will? Will, you can fuck off too. Will I am or Will Smith, whoever you are. Hogan? Oh no, we... Fortunately, Hogan was the moment and we decided to kill him. What you gonna do, brother, when Hulk Hogan gets hauled to the incinerator room? Ah, uh, that was... Really heartless, but whatever. Uh, oh, okay. You know, this is actually good for money. Uh, let's pick this up whenever you get the chance. I don't think I have a proper place for, to be that, for that to be set up, though. So how about we quickly put them into here, right? Actually, no, they should be going uh, here. Right? But... Uh, quite a bit of conundrum here. This metal needs to get the fuck out of here. I, I guess we're not hauling it off yet because obviously bodies take the priority. But for now, how about we do... Where does that go? It goes into manufactured, right? Yeah, shells. All right, so we'll actually put shells in this area as well to sell them off to. What do we have here? Mysterious buys to destroy your crops. That's not good, but okay. Jack West recruited Mark Capone. So Mark Capone's on board now. He's over here hauling bodies already. Good job, Mark. He's on cue, man. He knew, he knew what he needed to do. Uh, Mark, what do you excel at, my friend? Shooting three? Okay, we'll get you some training soon enough. Construction three, mining six. Okay, you're a, at least a worker. Incapable of nothing, which is good. Uh, or I should say, capable of everything, right? <laughs> sounds a little bit less uh, t uh, sounds a little bit less rude than incapable of nothing. Um, let's see. So Mark Lickett, let's get you a weapon, and let's also set you over a few things here. By the way, I'm sorry for the noisy mouse. I know it's still happening. I ordered one from Amazon. I'm still just waiting for it to be shipped to me. So we'll have a a silent good gaming mouse soon enough, and which is uh, unfortunately another unneeded expenditure. But you know what can you do? I have to kind of have a silent mouse. This is too goddamn noisy. So research doesn't really matter for us. Uh, cleaning. Um, he's a, he's a good grower, as a matter of fact. Let's actually put him to grow because uh, food's kind of really imperative right now, considering how many people we're actually feeding at this point. Uh, mining. Let's uh, make this like a three or something. Not too much of a problem. Hauling a two. Cleaning. Yeah, cleaning like a three in case there's nothing else to do. In reality, art could go f itself as usual. We know the routine, right? Art, fuck yourself. Alrighty, and then that's good. Mark Capone, uh, let's get you a weapon as well, though. Um, I would love to get you a light machine gun, though. I think that would probably work out really good. But since all of one's over here, it seems like a long trip. How about you just grab one of these? There you go. A lot easier for you. Oh, and welcome back. Sorry about the weird cutoff there. My game crashed, so now I have to record from my last save. And hopefully i got to figure out where to splice the episode together properly. So, apologize if uh, it kind of breaks the continuity of what we had going on here. But we're still good. We're still going on. We're still cleaning up the base. All good, no reason to freak out right now. Um, so, it's, it's only annoying though because I have to figure out what the hell was I talking about before this actually cut off in itself and then we have to... Basics, I don't repeat whatever the fuck I'm saying again. Whoa, my lord, that fucking Zeus just destroyed Dak Jack and some other dude. Oh my lord! Oh, okay, wait, he was just dragging... <laughs> I thought that fucking Thunderbolt from Zeus just destroyed Dak Jack, but in reality, um, it just stunned him. My lord, Dak Jack is one of the- or, there's two people in there, Andrus Hint and Dak Jack are like the hardest motherfuckers of all time. They just took a Zeus boom, uh, a Zeus fucking lightning bolt to the head and still survived. Good on you guys. What the hell is this? Oh god damn it, a raid again? Well, at least it's kind of far off, but they're attacking immediately. Shit, man, I'm not even done cleaning up! What is your problem, raiders? God fucking- alright, whatever, uh, fuck 
God. Why is all this happening at once? The storyteller's out to get me. First, Zeus gets pissed off at Andre's hand and Dak Jack and fucking lightning beams him in the head. And now we have uh, pissed off raiders over here. Oh, shit. I have people outside, too. Oh, my lord. I have a lot of people outside. All right. Uh, here's what we need to do. We need to, um, everybody that's over here needs to militarize and uh, get your asses inside. Pronto. Um, as a matter of fact, just get in through here and then I'll kind of like uh, militarize you. Uh, hopefully you guys are good fighters. I know Bread Bull isn't, unfortunately. No no offense against Bread Bull, but I know he has like a Molotov cocktail, so you need to go over here, Bread Bull. Everybody needs to book it inside fast. Forget what you're doing. Just come inside really, really fast. <laughs> Dr. Sex and Edward, you need to run. Uh, we should be able to make it though, right? Yeah, yeah, we're okay. We're okay to a degree. We just need to get through those bodies right there. <laughs> you know what sucks? We're going to lose all these weapons too because uh, the blast charges are, we'll take them out. But that's okay. It's no time to be nitpicky right now. Deanna, where are you going? Deanna, this isn't the time for cleaning. Believe me, it's not. Go inside. Text med, this isn't the time. Go inside. Uh, unless you guys value your lives, you'll forget about cleaning right now. I'm sorry for the frame drops too, guys. It's basically what's happening is that all these raiders over here, however fucking hundred of them are in, packed up in that line, plus all the bodies that we still have in dispersed, are basically taking its toll on the game's engine, so, uh, unfortunately, it sucks a bit. Alright, so my guys could pretty much start setting up here to a degree. I need to figure out who's where, though. Andres Hint, you go over here for now. Dak Jack, I'm gonna keep you kind of relatively safe because you're not too healthy just yet. Uh, Logan? Who's Logan? Did I not rename this person properly? Who is this guy? Martha Logan Andrews. Is that one of my renames? I don't remember do renaming somebody from Logan from, from the list. Alright, whatever, Logan. I guess you're good to go. Maybe I just don't remember. I, you know, I renamed so many people, it's possible I just forgot. Uh, what sucks is there's a body right here, meaning that I cannot have this door closed now. Alrighty, maybe, maybe Dr. Sex could... The thing is, if I grab this body, Dr. Sex is going to run exactly straight to this area to fucking uh, drop it off and... Ah, oh, Dr. Sex, you're gonna give, you're gonna do the, uh, no, drop that body. I need you to haul, oh, there's a weapon there, too. I wouldn't be able to do it either way. Never mind. Dr. Sex, uh, I would have loved you to close that door for us, but there's two things that need to be hauled off out of the way before you can do that, and that's not gonna be possible right now. So, just going back over here, it sucks a bit, but whatever, can't really, Juno can, this isn't a time, I also should really turn on my turds, by the way, <laughs> uh, before people start yelling about me at this, uh, turn turds on, all good. And, you know, I had such a good episode going on, we were talking about, you know, people not replacing milk in time, and like, you know, just good stuff, and then, you know, everything just falls apart, Zeus gets pissed at us, ra raiders come at us, it's like, man, does this ever end? It never ends, does it? Juno Kim, you need to, um... Go and hang out, possibly over here. Andre, where are you going? I know where you're going. You stay over here. You too, Joseph Murray. I see where you guys are. Little Asian, I see where you're going. You're not going anywhere. You stay right there. Alrighty, uh, the rest of these people have to move. Steve doesn't have a weapon, so Steve, you go and hang out. Actually, Steve, just grab this right now if you can. We need to keep an eye on this raid over here that's about to come in, though. And I need to move people around still and set them up. Giggle farts? Uh, Giggle farts, my friend. You don't even have a weapon. You're a decent fighter from what I remember, though, so how about you equip this just to be safe? Anthony Wood, uh, good fighter or not, doesn't matter. You have to set up right about here, my friend. Dak Jack, you move to this side. Gamer420, you move next to him. Uh, Punisher, good fighter. You go and hang out right about it. Yeah, there, it's good. Uh, let's see, Dr. Sex has a shotgun, so he doesn't have that much range, so he should probably come his, take his ass inside. Okay, Raider's still not there, but they're getting closer. Edward, Rosenberg, uh, let's have you set up right about there. Alright, Judo Shop, you go and hang out right there. Nomoto is hurt, so I can't really uh, risk Nomoto right now. Uh, Nomoto, let me reunite you with Maria, though. There you go. Um, okay. Quinn. Quinn the Miner. Uh, Quinn the Miner, you go and hang out there, I guess. Alpha, this isn't a time for dragging bodies, but it's a time for fighting, so let me set you up right about there. Raid, that was a raid. Okay, almost there. We need to start setting up those blast charges really soon. Zoomquan, not a good... You're not, you're, you're a good fighter, but you do not belong over here right now. Zoom Quan the Marine, let me have you equip a minigun really quickly. Alright, Judo Shop, all good. Um, Dr. Sex the Miner's coming inside. Tom Matter, you need to drop that body and get your ass inside, please. Zoom Quan, equipping the, that, okay, okay, okay. Uh, little Asian, let me set you up right about there. We need one more person over here, though. Who's gonna be that person? Let's send Andre. Let's send Giggle Farts, uh... Let's send Juno Kim right about there. Okay. Do we need one more person or no? Are we good now? 
Jack Wester, can you? Oh, Jack Wester, could, no, no, we already have that place set up. So, all right, that's good. That's good. All right. Uh, oh shit! <laughs> right in time too. Uh, this needs to go off now. All right, turrets are online, right? Yes, they're online. Oh, this one's not online. Why aren't you online? You should be online. Get online. Shoot. All right, all right. Here we go. Boom. All righty. The majority of them got wrecked, though, so that is the upside. The downside is there's a lot more cleaning up to do, but that's okay. We, we can't really be uh, too mad about what just happened right now. They did attack us right when we were cleaning up, which sucks, but at the same time, we were kind of at least uh, enough to get ready for it. You guys need to just drop those bodies and hang out. Alright, they're about to come in. That's alright. This should be an alright raid, I want to say. Thankfully, because of the blast charges and where these guys decided to actually attack us from. Soon, they should be giving up soon. There they go. They're fucking fleeing. Understandable, so. Alrighty. And there goes that motherfucker. Yeah. Good luck trying to get away, man. <laughs> Alright, so overall, good thing. Let's turn off the turrets offline now, just so they don't, you know, kill all of our people in any sort of friendly fire accident. Alrighty, those are off now. Good. So these guys are gonna go and do their hauling thing again. There's not even enough room for all this shit here. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna have to. Unfortunately, use a few blast mines for this because shit, how are we gonna clean all that up? We, we can't. Can't do it, man. Uh, I, yeah, I just feel like we should just use some blast charges there and just clean it up that way. So we'll leave this all X'd out for now, and I'll, what I'll do is just set up some uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. blast charges right about here, here, here. Ah, uh, fuck it. We have a lot of things to blow up anyway, so... Alright, let's do it that way. Alrighty, so you guys are still hauling, doing your thing. You keep doing that. Uh, you guys unmilitarized now. Alrighty, and there's a few more people to unmilitarize over here. Unmilitarized, good, good. And there's a few more inside. Unmilitarized now, okay. Is that just about everybody running? Good, 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 good. Um, fucking crisis averted. That could have been really, really bad, especially at a time that we're really vulnerable because, uh, we're still cleaning up. We haven't really fixed everything up properly yet, so fuck. That was really terrifying. Let's call it an episode here, though, guys, because I still have to figure out how to split this episode together now with, yeah, that crash and everything. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and, um, I'll catch you guys next time.